Hi, my name is Michael Perebonio, and I'm doing a review on the UTG L96 Spring Sniper Rifle because all the other reviews on YouTube are pretty bad. They degrade this rifle of what it really is, and I believe it's a pretty awesome rifle, and I like it. I bought it at Airsoft Land for $150. So here it is. Uh, my first test shot was at 50 feet. Uh, out of the three shots I took, I hit all three of them. Then during the second test was at 100 feet, and again out of three shots, I hit the three of them. Now these are first tests, it's not like I shot 96 shots and then I took the three, three that I hit, no. This is three out of three the first time I shot it. Then at 150 feet, as you can see, it's very windy, and in this test I'm using 0 0.30 gram BBs, and out of the five shots I take, I hit four. I only missed the first one, which I barely missed, which went to the right. This is the win. Uh, I saw people on other reviews, especially this guy, that he couldn't hit the target that he was shooting at at 150 feet uh, at all. And he was firing with 0.25. I don't know. I, I can hit it consistently at 150 feet. And finally, at 200 feet, I got pretty lucky. It was so windy. I only hit the first one out of five shots. But the other four were going either to the right or to the left because of the wind. Now you have to think that these are mailboxes which are not wider probably than a foot. In an airsoft game you're going to be shooting at people that are approximately probably two feet wide with all the equipment and everything that they have. So it's going to be a lot easier. The body of the L96 spring sniper rifle is very smooth. I like it. It has adjustable stock, smooth bolt action. I put a center point scope on it. 3 to 9 power. Uh, the barrel, I like it. It's not aluminum, it's brass, I think. And it's, I believe, a 6.3 millimeter. But I like it. I, I have no complaints about it. The stock, it's, it's nicely, it's nice. I like it. It has double safety also. The only problem you might have with this rifle is probably the rail mount for the bipod and the bipod itself a lot of people were complaining that it was wobbly and it was a wobbly out of the box that's because it wasn't moving as one I cut four wire pieces and put super glued them right there because when you would put it on the bipod with the rail system that it has would move by itself but after they put those wires uh, the rifle and the stock it just moves at one, as one also the bipod that comes with it is very I like it People were also complaining that it it broke, one guy said. And I like the bipod. I've used it. I've taken it out and put in my pellet rifle. And my rifle. I put a rail system on both rifles and I use the same bipod. And I take it for hunting and I like it. I love it. It's just like the real thing. The only thing that you might, the only problem you might have is, now I'm going to point at it. This Allen screw right there, when you take it out of the box, you want to tighten it. Because mine came loose, and that just adds to the wobbliness issue that it has. Finally, the, the sling it brings is not that great. But, I mean, it makes a lot of noise, so I wouldn't recommend taking it into the game. Especially if you're a sniper, you're supposed to be stealthy. And you're not going to be stealthy with that sling. Uh, also, I was carrying it one time and it just came off. So what you want to do is get pliers and tighten it right, right where I was pointing at. Just a little bit, not too much. Man, thank you.